the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Eight years, this Prime Minister is not worth the cost of housing, which has doubled as he builds bureaucracies that block homes. In January, according to data out today, rent was up 10 per cent year over year to $2,196. An astonishing increase in a very short time. In fact, it's up about 20 percent in the last two years alone, and it's accelerating ever since he named his, his recently his incompetent housing minister. Will the Prime Minister follow our common sense plan to cut the bureaucracy and build the homes? Yeah, yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Canadians know that cuts from the Conservative leader wouldn't get more homes built. Uh, if he was really concerned about rents, he would line behind us uh, and support the lowering, the removal of the GST on new apartment constructions. Uh, that's something they actually voted against, Mr. Speaker. We know that unlocking greater supply of housing, including with purpose-built apartment buildings across the country, is a way of bringing down rents for people. That's a concrete solution that we've put forward that the Conservative chose to vote against for political gain and for political reasons. We're going to continue to be there to do the hard work of delivering for Canadians while he relies on catchy slogans and misunderstanding what it is that he's choosing to cut. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. We were the ones that proposed taking the tax off home building, Mr. Speaker. The one idea, that good idea, that he finally copied. But he talks about slogans. One is the Housing Accelerator Fund, the $4 billion program that was supposed to speed up housing. We asked the Housing Minister yesterday in committee how many homes it had completed. The answer is zero. Nada. Nothing. His quote, it doesn't actually lead to the construction of specific homes. Oh, wow. uh, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, if it cost... Four billion dollars to build zero homes. How much would it cost to build one? The right honourable prime minister. Once again, we have the clear proof that the leader of the opposition doesn't even understand the proposals that he's counting on cutting, that he's promising to cut from Canadians. The Housing Accelerator Fund is about investing in municipalities across the country to change the frame around which they build homes faster. It involves uh, rapidly uh, eliminating red tape. It involves increasing densification, changing zoning, making sure we can unlock far more houses construction than any federal government could build on its own. This is the approach that we're taking, and it's, and it's working, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Four billion dollars, 35 photo ops, one minister, zero homes. He not only says the program doesn't build homes, he says it doesn't lead to the construction of homes. He couldn't point to one development that had actually been completed. They've been in power for eight years and they can't get anything built. When will they get the bureaucracy out of the, and the taxes out of the way so that we can build the homes? Yeah. Sorry, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, the only tool that the leader of the Conservative Party has put forward is cutting, cutting programs in order to somehow create more homes. What we're actually doing is investing in partnership with municipalities to eliminate red tape, to accelerate the construction of homes, to increase densification, uh, to change zoning so that more houses can be built. He wants to talk about a number. Half a million new homes are being facilitated by uh, the Housing Accelerator Fund right across the country. Uh, we've signed these over the past months. Construction is all already underway across the country.